I can do a ton with 4,000, you know, followers. I can do more with 4,000 followers than people with 100,000 followers are doing. Right now, I'm going to talk about Facebook retargeting. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Facebook retargeting and how to do it, what it is, how to do it right, and the number one thing that you're doing wrong that I see a lot of people doing this, big and small. So look, Facebook ads are the cheapest they've been, I wouldn't say ever, but they are so cheap right now if you're not using Facebook ads to promote your business. You're not doing it right. Um, there's a couple of things you need. <laughs> Before you run a Facebook ad, you need to be retargeting but you also need an offer that converts and it's not good enough just to market your business and run Facebook ads if you can't sell it. So assuming you know how to sell and you have, a con and you have something that works, a conversion, you, you can convert pay people to a free offer or a paid offer, you should be running Facebook ads. If you're using Facebook ads, you don't want everyone in the United States to see your stuff. You're gonna waste money. Hey, let's say you have a national business like you're targeting people all over the United States, you still need to narrow down your audience by niche. One of the best things to do is, especially if you're gonna sell something, is don't go sell someone who's never seen your face before without having a conversation with them. Okay, you need to have a conversation with them. You can have a conversation with them through ads, but the first few times they see you, it needs to not be something you're selling them. But when you're gonna sell them or you're gonna get them into your system, you need to use retargeting. So the retargeting is a way to send your Facebook ads to a warm audience. A warm audience is someone that already is comfortable with you, already knows you, they've seen you, they've been to your website, they're a fan of your Facebook page, etc. So you don't just wanna target everybody, you need to niche down. Facebook has decreased the amount of targeting you can do, but one of the things you can do is retargeting, which means someone visits your website or a blog post, they sign up for one of your programs or like free programs or workshops, as long as they visit a, face, a page that you own or you can put code on it, you take the Facebook pixel and you put it on your page. So anytime someone visits it, they get a cookie <laughs> and, fa and Facebook knows they visited your page. Because if you are just trying to boost posts here and there, you're doing the wrong thing, but even boosting a post, you can retarget. Okay, so one of the most important things about retargeting is making sure that the people you're retargeting to are actually people that want to buy what you have. Here's, here's the problem. I see small cash practices doing this. I see large um, supply <laughs> companies doing this. I'll tell you the funny story about that. And I see people from other professions do this. Have you ever scrolled your Facebook feed and seen an ad for something? You're like, I would never buy that. Number one, you're marketing the wrong profession. Number two, I don't even live near you. Yo, bro, I don't live near you. This is called a location targeting. So if you're going to retarget visitors to your website, let's see, because you set up the cookie and you're retargeting people that like or have watched one of your other videos, you also need a location targeting. If you have an in-person service, you need to set up the location targeting to three mile radius, 10 mile radius. Three mile radius is gonna be plenty of people. Sometimes you might need to set up a bigger radius to be able to serve it to smaller people, but I want you guys to know like, if you're serving me ads to you know, Aaron LeBauer because you've asked me to like your page, which I don't really like anybody's business page in, anymore, and you're serving me ads, you're wasting money. Okay, if you want me to become your patient, you're wasting money. Don't waste money on me. <laughs> waste money on people. <laughs> Spend money, invest money on people that should be your patient, not Aaron LeBauer, because you don't live in Greensboro. The other thing that happened was yesterday, someone posted and said, hey, who's got a kettlebell? Who's got a, um, you know, that I can borrow or buy? And I was like, I was like, I got, I was like joking. I was like, I got them, but you can't have mine because I use them every day. I was like, but I can get you one. And then my buddy, one of my buddies coming and said, Aaron, everyone's out of online, uh, you know, all home exercise stuff is online. So, well, what, <laughs> why did I think people had kettlebells? Is because Perform Better has been retargeting me 
with their ads and it's showing the kettlebells of different sizes and all these other things. Well, because I've been to those pages in the past month to show them to other people or to send that link to patients, et cetera. And so because I see this ad from Perform Better showing me the kettlebells, I think, well, clearly they're in stock. I can order them for you because we have a wholesaler discount. What I realized was is they're out. So guess what they're doing? They're out of the product, yet they're still paying for me to see an ad to buy the product. Talking about wasting money. Perform Better may not care, but what that does is that tells me they don't have someone watching their ads and paying attention to their ads. They just turned them on and let them go. Now, that's called wasting money. And you're talking about right now, who's got time to waste money? Anybody? Who's got money to waste? You know, it doesn't mean Perform Better is bad as a product. I'm saying someone's not watching their ads, and that's why I have, when I run Facebook ads, like I could do it all myself, maybe, but I hire someone to do it well and to crush it. Like I'm not serving ads to people who don't want to buy my stuff unless we're testing new audiences and trying to build and doing ninja stuff where we're trying to build audiences to retarget later. But we're still not asking them to buy at that point. Does that make sense? So what is retargeting? Retargeting means you are paying to put ads in front of people who already know and like who you are and are more likely to buy from you. It's a warm audience because always marketing to get cold traffic is going to run you dry. It's going to be hard. So when you run ads, you need a couple different things. You need to have an offer that converts. When you get leads, you need to be able to comfortably sell that person into your product or service. If you are uncomfortable selling people into your product or service, you should never run an ad. Don't pay for Facebook ads. Don't pay for marketing until you're comfortable with the sales part. Okay, if you're like, no, I don't like to do sales, getting more people in the door isn't going to fix your problem. You probably already have enough people coming through the door. I can do a ton with 4,000 you know, followers. I can do more with 4,000 followers than people with 100,000 followers are doing. The point is, is that if you know your audience and you can retarget the people who are interested, they are more likely going to download your ebook, join your free webinar, buy your book, enroll in your course, become a patient of yours, come to your workshop, or respond to your message, join your free group, buy your product or widget.